Hey everyone, Melissa here. Welcome to my channel if you're new here or welcome back if you've been here before or if you've been with me for a while. Either way, I'm grateful to be here with you. I'm coming to you from the beautiful Costa Rica and from this beautiful space is a retreat space called Casas Kismet. And this practice is a feel good, slow flow so you'll hear some of the jungle in the background, some birds, maybe even some monkeys. So this is a slow moving intentional practice. We'll move through and open up different parts of the body, really sinking in the breath with the movement, setting an intention and finishing the practice in the space of the heart. So have a couple of blocks if you have them, or at least one block. And if you don't have a block, have a pillow or a little couch cushion and get into something comfortable and let's get this useful practice started. Let's begin practice today on our backs in constructive rest. So go ahead and lay down and we'll begin with the knees bent, feet out as wide as the mat and just allow your knees and legs to fall in to touch. Your hands could just be by the side away from the body, maybe slightly off the mat with the palms facing up. Maybe you lift your chest up a little bit and gently slide the shoulder blades under and then relax the back down. Make any adjustments, get comfortable, close down your eyes. And then we'll begin with three cleansing breaths to arrive onto our mats and clear the space. So just exhale your breath through your nose and invite in a deep inhalation through the nose. Let your belly and ribs and chest expand. And a big exhalation out through the mouth, release. Allow the exhale to be audible. And two more times, big inhale through the nose, fill everything up, biggest breath you've taken all day so far. And exhale, release through the mouth. Maybe even let out a sigh. And we'll do that one more time. Big inhale through the nose, fill up. And a nice big exhale through the mouth, release whatever's not serving you. Just let your body sink even deeper onto the mat. Close your mouth. And just shift the breath in and out through both nostrils. Allow the breath to be natural here as we're arriving. Let your body settle here. Let your belly be soft, shoulders soft. Relax the muscles behind the eyes. Relax the jaw. And allow yourself to land and arrive here in this moment. Becoming aware of your rhythm of breath. Gently feeling the belly rise and fall as you inhale and as you exhale. enjoying this sacred pause as we arrive. Now perhaps you'd like to set an intention for your practice today. It doesn't need to be grand, just allow it to be sincere for you. Perhaps it is to stay tethered to your breath all throughout practice, staying aware of how you're breathing.
perhaps it is to feel a sense of deep ease as you practice. So just allow your intention to come to you now. And if nothing comes to you, that's perfect. Allow it to be what it is. Just coming back to the rhythm of your breath. And we'll slowly start to separate the knees, keeping your feet wide. Let your arms come out more into a T shape, so a little wider apart. And then start to windshield wiper your legs from side to side. So just drop your legs to one side. And then slowly let them drag over to the other side. So you can go as slow as you'd like here and just explore this movement as you start to open up the hips the groin, the inner thighs, inviting in this gentle twist as the legs move from side to side. And then the next time that your legs are over to the left, pause there. Now you can stay right here as you are or if you like, you can take your left leg and place it on the outside of your right thigh with the left foot flexed, just gently putting some pressure on the outside of the right thigh. And if that's not working for you or you feel any tension on your knees, just release that left foot back down. Breathe into your belly. If your leg is on top of your right leg, gently release the left foot. And then we'll slowly bring our legs all the way over to the right side. Pausing on the right side. You can stay right here. Or take your right foot to the outside of the left outer thigh, flexing the right foot. Gently applying some pressure here with the weight of your leg. Breathe into your belly. Feel the belly rise and fall. And then release that right foot down and slowly make your way back to center. Bring your feet hip width distance apart and bring your heels closer to your glutes so you're setting up for a bridge pose. So your toes are facing forward. Palms come down by your side, palms down, setting up for a dynamic bridge. So on your next inhalation, you're gonna gently place your feet or push your feet into the mat, gently engage your glutes and lift your hips up into a bridge pose. And then as you exhale, you're gonna slowly roll back down. Now, next time we're gonna add in the arms. So as you inhale nice and slowly, you're gonna lift your hips up and then start to bring both arms up and over two parallel lines all the way behind you, backs of the hands touch the ground behind you. And then as you exhale, you're gonna slowly lower your hips and slowly lower your arms all the way down. So we'll move like this, dynamic bridge. Inhale, lift your hips, lift your arms, smooth inhalation. Feel the breath expand into the chest, into the collarbones. And then as you exhale, slow exhalation all the way down. So you're starting to sink the breath to your movement. Notice if you're wanting to rush this. Inhale, lift up. Weight is even on both sides of the legs, starting to enliven and activate the back body and these larger mus muscle groups. And as you exhale, lower down two more times. Inhale, lift your hips, lift the arms. Feeling the glutes start to engage and activate the back muscles. Exhale, lower down, slowly warming up the shoulders, the hamstrings, and one more time. Inhale, lift up. 
This time, as you exhale, your hips stay lifted, only your arms lower down. Exhale, arms come down, hips stay lifted. You could stay here with your hands on the ground for support, continue to breathe. Or if you'd like, you can interlace the fingers and walk the shoulders in, pressing your arms into the ground. Nice, deep, smooth breaths. If your hands are interlaced, release the hands. And then as you exhale, slowly lower down, upper back, mid back, lower back. Release your glutes, pause. And feel this deep sense of connection with your legs to your mat. And from here, we'll pull the knees in towards the chest, interlace the fingers around the shins. Give yourself a little rock or sway from side to side. And now we'll give ourselves a little rock and roll up onto all fours. If you prefer to roll over and set up that way, you can do that. But we'll meet in tabletop position. Okay, once we're here, we're gonna come into a child's pose. So toes will touch, knees will come out wide, bring your hips back to your heels, and slide your hands forward, relaxing the shoulders, and if your hips don't quite touch your heels, that's no problem at all. You're just aiming in that direction. Breathe into your belly. Now we'll add in a little shoulder stretch. So you're gonna lift your head back up and then walk your hands all the way over to the left. And your right hand's just gonna reach a little farther than your left, or if you'd like, you can place your right hand on top of your left hand. Close that right shoulder down, root down through your right sit bone and breathe into that right shoulder elongating the right side of the body. Okay, now walk your hands all the way through center. Continue walking all the way over to the right side Left hand could reach a little farther than your right or left hand can go on top of the right hand. Close the left shoulder down, root down through the left sit bone, breathe into the left shoulder, the left side. back to center shift back onto all fours so slide your knees back underneath the hips spread your fingers nice and wide wrists under the shoulders knees under the hips cat cows inhale we'll drop the belly lift the gaze shoulders out of the ears and exhale push the floor away from you pull the belly in nose towards the belly button a few more times inhale to your cow Exhale to your cat, belly pulls in. Twice more, inhale to your cow. Exhale to your cat. One more time, inhale, open up. Exhale to your cat. Come back to your table, tuck the toes underneath, and then push up and back to the first down dog of the practice. Keep your knees really bent, spread your fingers wide, push down through all 10 knuckles, including that thumb and pointer finger. Feet are hip width distance apart, and then just start to walk your dog. So bend one knee, bend the other. Your shoulders are gliding down towards your sit bones. Give your head a little nod, yes, so make sure we're not holding tension in the neck. Broaden the upper back. Wrap the upper arms so the upper, the triceps are round and in. Continue to breathe. And then find stillness here in your dog. You 
can always keep that bend in the knees. This is more about lengthening the spine rather than if your heels touch the floor or not. Now as you in inhale, we're gonna shift forward into high plank. You can always place your knees down here. As you exhale, shift slightly forward over the wrists, elbows hug in and bend the elbows towards the back of the mat and lower down onto your belly. Point your toes, give your shoulders a loop onto the back. Coming into three baby cobras. As you inhale, you're gonna lift your forehead, lift your chest, shoulders back, chest open, elbows in, and try to use more of the back body rather than really pressing into the hands. You're enlivening the back. As you exhale, slowly lower down, nice and slow, two more times. Inhale, lift, back body enlivens, tops of the feet press down, elbows in, shoulders back, chest open, chin is in, so we're not cranking the neck up. You wanna keep the flow of energy along the spine. As you exhale, slowly lower. And again, inhale to your cobra, baby cobra. Stay here, stay lifted, and exhale as you stay lifted. Inhale here, maybe lift a little bit higher and longer. And then exhale, lower down all the way. From here, you're just gonna point your right toes and just extend and lift your right leg only. Lower your right leg back down. Left leg extends and points and lifts and then lower the left leg down. Now from here, we're going to lift the forehead, chest and shoulders and lift your hands, let them hover, chin in, chest open, breathe. How easeful can you be here? And exhale, lower down, good. Our hands are just by your chest, elbows tucked in, tuck your toes underneath. You're gonna inhale through table or to high plank. Belly pulls in, inhale, push up. And then as you exhale, shift up and back, downward facing. Feet hip width distance apart. You can stay still here if you'd like, or you can bend your knees and just drop your heels to one side. Feel that stretch in the side body. And then lift your heels back to center, drop the heels all the way over to the other side, bend the knees a lot, keep reaching your bum back. And one more time each side. And back to center. Towards the end of your exhalation, bend your knees a lot, look between your hands, and then take as many steps as you need to the top of the mat. Forward fold, feet hip width distance apart. On your next inhale, halfway lift, so fingertips can come to your quads or your shins. Shoulders back, chest open, chin in. And then as you exhale, forward fold. We're gonna slowly roll up, so keep the knees a little bent. Your arms are gonna hang heavy. Your head is the last to roll up, so rolling up one vertebra at a time. Rolling through the spine. When you get to stand at the top of the mat, your head is the last to come up, and then you're gonna give your shoulders a loop up, back, and down. Palms face forward, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Ground all four corners of the feet onto the mat. See if you can lift your toes, and then relax them back down. Feel your kneecaps lift. Tailbone lengthens down. Chest open, shoulders back. Energy through the fingers. Eyes along the horizon. Notice if your chin's hanging off the spine, you want to gently pull the chin back. Proud open chest and find your breath. Find this sense of ease behind the backs of your eyes as you softly find a point to gaze at. As you inhale, maintain this frame. Tailbone lengthens down. You're gonna reach your arms up overhead. As you exhale, right arm comes down by your side and start to arch up and over to the right. So the chest stays open. Soften the shoulder out of the ears, root down through your left foot as you reach through your left fingers. And then inhale, both arms reach up. Exhale, left hand down by the side, right arm reaches up and over, root down through your right foot as you reach through your right fingers, chest open. And then inhale, both arms reach up. 
touch your palms to one another. Stay here for your exhale. And then as you inhale, lengthen up and out of the waist. A little baby back bend. And then as you exhale, a little bend in the knees, circle your arms around or your arms can come through center as you forward fold. Take a cycle of breath here in your forward fold. Good. Plant your hands down, bend your knees as much as you need to, and then step back to downward facing dog. From here, we're gonna inhale, reach your right leg up, three-legged dog, and then bend your right knee and open up your hips. Your knee becomes the highest point, engaging your glute. Shoulders stay squared and centered towards the mat. And then re-straighten your right leg, close the hips, the hips are squared, inhale. And then as you exhale, you're gonna bend your right knee and step your right foot through between your hands, gently place the left knee down. Left hand down on the ground, or you can always place a block under your left hand. Your right arm is going to reach up for a gentle twist. Drop that right hip down, and we'll start to add in some nice big arm circles with that right hand, going about three circles in one direction. And really explore your range. Make it as big as you'd like, open it up. and then change your direction. Three circles the other way. And release that right hand down. You're welcome to have blocks underneath both of your hands here. You're just going to inhale, lengthen the chest, shoulders back. Exhale to your half split, so hips go back, extend your right leg, flex your right foot. And we'll move dynamically first before we hold this posture. So inhale, re-bend your right knee, shift forward, chest open, shoulders back. And exhale, shift your hips back, flex your right toes towards the face. One more time. Inhale, bend your right knee, open up the chest. And exhale, shift back, half split. Flexing your right foot, drop the shoulders, and give yourself a little fold here. So you're feeling this dragging action of your right heel back, your right hip back. Find your breath here and invite in this sense of ease and softness. Now re-bend your right knee, shift forward, blocks aside. Hands down, you're gonna tuck your left toes underneath, power up your back leg. Your gaze is just gonna be slightly in front of you on the floor. We're gonna step into the right foot, inhale, left leg lifts, hips squared, long spine. And then as you exhale, slowly lower the left leg beside the right, forward fold. And then from here, you're going to keep your right leg lengthened, bend the left knee, left hand on the ground, right arm's gonna open up for a twist. Chest is open, maybe you look up towards your right hand, just feeling that nice stretch in your IT band, breathe. Look down, place your right hand down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips to your quads or your shin, shoulders back, chin in, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Little bend in the knees. Inhale, root down with your feet to rise up, reach your arms up all the way up. Hands to touch into heart center as you exhale, shoulders back. Tail lengthens down. Cycle of breath here. Release your arms down, interlace the hands behind you, give your knees a little bend, shoulders loop back and down, extend your elbows, knuckles down and away. Take a nice deep breath into your chest, into your heart. 
As you exhale, that those knees are bent, you're going to forward fold. And if you can't quite reach your hands to interlace, you can always just hold opposite elbows. So the knees stay bent. Breathe deeply into your belly. Back of the neck is long, so let the chin come in. How smooth can you breathe here? Okay, if your hands are interlaced with so much care, release the hands back down to the ground. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips to shins or quads, shoulders back, chin and long spine. Clean the slate. Exhale, forward fold. You're gonna step back either into downward facing, if you'd like, or to a high plank if you wanna flow. The exhale is what brings you down to your belly, elbows in, point your toes, shoulders onto the back. Inhale to your cobra or baby cobra, back body enlivens. And then exhale, you push up and back, downward facing. Take a nice big breath in through your nose. And a cleansing breath, exhale through the mouth. <sighs> Recenter. On your next inhale, left leg's gonna sweep up three-legged dog. Now you're gonna bend your left knee and open up the hips. The knee becomes the highest point. Engage your left glute to support that Hips are still reaching back, shoulders squared. And then re-extend the left leg, close the hips, inhale, lengthen. As you exhale, bend your left knee and step your left foot through between the hands. Gently place your right knee down. Right hand to the ground or onto the block. Left arm's gonna open up, twist, reach up towards the sky. Drop the left hip down. And then we'll add in our big circles, about three circles in one direction. And then just change the direction. Really explore your range of motion here. Good. Back to center. Maybe you have blocks underneath your hands again for support. As you inhale, you're just gonna lengthen the spine, open up the chest, preparing to move dynamically. Exhale, shift your hips back, flex your left foot, left toes towards the face, and forward. Inhale, bend your left knee, shoulders back, collarbones smiling. Exhale, hips back, flex your left foot. One more time. Inhale, shift forward, open up the chest. And exhale, half split. Pausing here, but don't hold the breath. Find this dragging action of your heel and your left hip back as you lengthen the torso out of the waist, out of the hips. Softening the shoulders and find a gentle fold. Breathe. Beautiful, and now shift back, bend the left knee, blocks aside. You're gonna tuck the right toes underneath, power up your back leg. Gaze in front of you on the floor, hands in front of you. You're gonna step into your left foot, inhale, right leg's gonna lift up, lengthen the spine, hips stay closed. As you exhale, slowly lower the right leg beside the left, fold. And then this time we're going to keep the left leg straight, bend the right knee, and the left arm's gonna open up for a twist. Keep the chest open, breathe into it. Breathe through any gunk or stagnancy you might feel in the leg. Now you look down, release the left hand down, 
fold here. Inhale, halfway lift, fingertips to your shins or your quads, shoulders back, long spine. Exhale, forward fold. Root down to rise. Inhale, reach your arms up, come to stand. And then exhale, hands to heart center. Cycle of breath here, shoulders back. Release your arms down. Okay, we'll move through a simple chair flow. So first we'll bring the arms up, inhale, arms reach up. Little bend in the knees, exhale, forward fold, come all the way down. Keep your knees bent here, inhale, chair pose, utkatasana. So knees bent, sit back in your imaginary chair, arms are up. Stay here, breathe. On your next inhalation, straighten the legs, reach the arms up, palms touch, little back bend, tailbone lengthens down. And then as you exhale, forward fold, little bend in the knees, come all the way down. Inhale, bend your knees a lot, chair pose. Stay here for your exhale. One cycle of breath. Inhale, lengthen the legs, reach your arms up, palms touch. Little back bend, doesn't have to be grand. Just lift up and out of the waist, chest open as you exhale, little bend in the knees, forward fold. Last one. Inhale, sit back in your chair, arms reach up. Stay here for your exhale. One cycle of breath here, chest open, belly pulls in, weight in the heels. As you inhale, lengthen the legs, palm palms touch. Back bend, baby, back bend. And then as you exhale, forward fold, all the way down. Take a cycle of breath here to ground, recenter. Good, bend your knees. We're gonna do that slow roll up. Let your arms hang. Feel that traction in the back of the neck. Slowly start to roll up one vertebra at a time. When you get to the top, give your shoulders a loop back and down, palms face forward, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Breathe. So we'll add a little bit of strength, gentle, but a little bit of strength and strong, uh, gentle but strong. <laughs> so we're going to reach the arms up, inhale, a little bend in the knees, forward fold. From here, we're going to step the left leg back, 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 so you're in a runner's lunge. When you feel steady here, so you're going to root down with that right heel, Pull that right hip back, left toes forward, inner thighs are starting to magnetize. You're gonna reach your arms up overhead. Take a breath in here. As you exhale, you're gonna cactus the arms, so bend the elbows. Have your elbows come slightly forward, palms back, chest open, and a little dip in that left knee as your right hip pulls back. And then as you inhale, you're gonna lengthen both legs, reach the arms up overhead. And then as you exhale, bend the elbows, bend both knees, left knee just kisses the ground, chest open. Inhale, lengthen the legs, reach your arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms, bend both knees, keep pulling that right hip back, chest open. Inhale, reach your arms up. And then as you exhale, just bend the right knee and lower your arms down by your sides so you're back in this lunge position with your legs. Reach your arms up overhead, inhale. And now as we exhale, we're going to bring the torso forward and bring the arms down and wrap your arms around your right leg as if you're giving your right thigh a little hug. Inhale, reach your arms back up, high lunge. And exhale, chest comes forward, wrap your arms around your right leg, nice gentle nurturing hug. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. Back leg is strong. Exhale, come to hug your right thigh. Inhale, reach your arms up, high lunge. And then as you exhale, just step your left foot beside the right, 
lower your arms down tadasana mountain pose pause here shoulders back recalibrate recenter yourself eyes soft on one point breath is calm Regather that centeredness and bring this deep sense of stability and centeredness as we move through that sequence on the other side. Ready, inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, a little bend in the knees, forward fold. Take a big step back with your right leg, preparing for that runner's lunge. Nice and firm, you're on two tracks. Left heel roots down, left hip pulls back. Feel your inner thighs magnetize. They turn on, it's supporting you. When you're ready, you're gonna reach your arms up, high lunge. As you exhale, bend your elbows, bend your back knee. Let your right knee kiss the ground, chest is open. Inhale, lengthen both legs, arms reach up. How steady can you be? Exhale, cactus the arms, bend your right knee. Keep pulling the left hip back as your chest opens. Inhale, lengthen both legs, arms reach up. Exhale, bend the elbows, bend both knees. Show your heart. Inhale, lengthen up. And then this time as you exhale, bend your left knee and lower your arms down and around to give yourself a hug. Wrap your arms around your left thigh. Nice and smooth. Inhale, reach your arms up. Keep your back leg strong through this sequence. Left knee stays bent. Exhale, and now you're just moving your torso and your arms. Give yourself a nice gentle hug here. Inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, come forward, hug that left thigh. This is our last one. And then inhale, reach your arms up. As you exhale, lower your arms and step your right foot beside the left feet, hip width distance apart, shoulders back, Tadasana Mountain Pose. Recenter, recalibrate. If you need a cleansing breath out of the mouth, feel free to do that at any point. And we'll add in a little balanced tree pose here. So you can take your hands to the waist and then find your Tadasana template so the tailbone's lengthening down, your hips are gonna stay squared. Lift your right heel off the mat and initiate the turnout from your right glute. And then you're gonna either place your right foot on the calf or assist it up to the inside of the left inner thigh, just not on the knee. And then hands could stay on your hips or hands in prayer, or if you'd like, you can reach your arms up overhead. So you're pushing your right foot into the left leg, left leg into the right foot. You're rooting down through that standing leg and growing tall through the crown of the head. Chin slightly in, chest open. Hips are facing forward, shoulders soft. And again, we find that relaxed gaze, focusing on a point in front of us, something that's not moving. And if you want to challenge yourself, feel free to close your eyes. And it's okay if you fall out, just come back in. All right, now slowly with ease and care, we'll come back to stand mountain pose Tadasana. Reset. and then we'll take it to the other side. So hands can come on the hips, lift your left heel, initiate the turnout from your glutes. So you're not turning out from the knee, but in start thinking about turning out from the glute. Keeping your center in balance the whole way. Left foot can be placed on your calf or assist it up to the right inner thigh. And again, everything is hugging into the midline. Hips stay forward, so you're not opening out the hip to the side. Hands can come into prayer, shoulders back, 
tailbone lengthens down, grow tall to the crown of the head as the chin stays slightly in, back of the neck is long. And then maybe you reach the arms up, find your gaze. Play around with your expression, maybe you try closing your eyes. One of the quicker ways to really find focus in the mind is to practice some balancing postures. Beautiful. Slowly come out of your tree, stand to the top of the mat, Tadasana Mountain Pose, last standing pose, and we'll take a flow and bring it down to the ground. Inhale, reach your arms up overhead. One breath per movement, exhale, forward fold, nice and easeful. Notice if you're moving through habituation, see if you can become fully present. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms, either step back to down dog or to high plank if you'd like to flow. The exhale is your lowering down to your belly. Inhale is your cobra or upward facing. And the exhale takes you back, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Lift your heels and bring your knees down onto the mat. Walk yourself a little over to the left side of your mat and then drop your right hip down. Preparing for deer pose. You're gonna bring your right leg in front of you your right shin parallel to the top of the mat. So there's a 90 de degree angle with your right leg and perhaps a 90 degree angle with your left leg, 90-90. And if that's not feeling good for you, no problem. Pull your heels in a little bit if that feels better. Okay, as long as there's no pain in your knees. Now here we wanna center ourselves. So chest in the center. When you feel ready, you're going to start to walk your hands forward and this might be enough today right here or maybe you grab a couple blocks and place them underneath your forearms or you actually come down to your forearms or you use a block here to support your head using whatever props you have to bring the floor up to you this will help to support the body in releasing and letting go especially something on the head is nice just relaxes the mind. Once you find your position, maybe you close down your eyes, relax your fingers, take a scan throughout your entire body and just notice where there might be conscious or unconscious holding or clenching. And just use your exhalations to remind yourself to soften and invite yourself back into your intention perhaps invite yourself back to your breath, that deep sense of ease. Beautiful. Slowly start to bring yourself out of the shape. Moving your props aside, lift your torso back up. And then bring the left leg back forward. 
hands behind you and here we are with that windshield wipe from side to side again. Puff up your chest. So open up your chest. And then we'll take it to the other side. So now your left leg is in front, right leg behind you. Find your pinwheel shape 90-90. So your left shin is parallel. Or however feels better for your knees. And then hands on either side center yourself might take a moment for that right inner thigh that inner rotation to soften and just breathe through it you're never forcing or pushing your way into anything and then now you start to walk your hands forward maybe this is perfect right now or you come onto your forearms or blocks underneath your forearms or block under your head and one side might feel different than the other, so you might have a different variation of where your torso ends up. And just know that all we have to do is just create the space and the environment for the body to release. So that's why the blocks and the support is nice. Maybe you close down your eyes here. And then we take a scan through the top of the head all the way down through our arms and torso and our hips and our legs. And we release and remind ourselves to let go at least your groin. Let your belly be a belly, nice and soft. And drop into your natural rhythm of breath. Exploring this moment. Beautiful. We'll start to prepare to come out of the shape. Move your props aside. Bring your right leg forward. And then you can just take your legs out in front of you. Hands behind you, chest open. Just give your legs a little bounce, a little shake. Okay. We're gonna come onto our backs and have a block or a bolster or pillow, whatever you have close by. And we'll prepare for supported bridge. So you're gonna take your prop, you're gonna lift your hips up and slide the prop underneath your tailbone, your sacrum. So not the bum, not the lower back, but right in between on that bone. And if you don't have a prop with you today, that's okay. Just take your legs up towards the sky. Either way, we'll bring our legs up for a restorative waterfall. Hands can be on the belly for that extra support and grounding or arms down by your side, palms up. So you're finding this effortless effort with your legs. Maybe you close down your eyes. Belly is soft. Such a supportive posture to do, to refresh the legs, to switch on the parasympathetic nervous system, so to calm the nervous system. Inviting in this downward flow of energy, the panavayu supports and facilitates release 
and calmness and letting go. Start to bend your knees, plant your feet back down. If you have a prop under you, just start to lift your hips up and slide the prop out, lower your hips down and just feel that nice deep sense of groundedness. Taking those moments to pause in between shapes as we often rush through and we miss the moment and we don't allow ourselves to receive the effect. And now we'll come into a nice simple twist. So we'll pull in the right leg, extend your left leg, left hand to the outside of the right thigh, roll over onto your left side, right arm opens out to the side, palm is up, externally rotating the right shoulder. Find a comfortable position for your head, for your neck, close down your eyes. Breathe into the belly, abdominal breathing. Find ease here. Beautiful. Start to come back to center. Place both feet down onto the mat. Notice if your hips aren't even, you want to just give them a little lift up and back down. Reset. Left knee pulls in. Right leg extends out. Right hand to the outside of the left thigh. Roll over onto your right side. Left arm opens up. Feel that extension. Close down your eyes. Enjoy this nurturance in your spine. This opening across your chest through along your arm, through your fingers, and drop into your abdominal breath. Beautiful. Come back to center, place both feet down onto the mat again. Give your hip, hips a little lift and then lower down so they're even. To bring in that symmetry before we move into Shavasana, pull the knees in towards the chest. Interlace your fingers around your shins. Breathe into your belly. Acknowledge your efforts. And then we'll extend out into Shavasana using whatever props you'd like. If you'd like to prop a bolster underneath the backs of the knees or perhaps a block underneath the back of each thigh to give your lower back some support. Or you can just lay completely flat on the ground, which is nice for the spine. If you need support for your head, I recommend something that's thinner, like a folded blanket or a thin, thin pillow, just so your head is not cranked up so you're your chin is pulling in. You want to have it nice and supported, ideally, so the forehead and the chin are in the same line, same level. 
make any adjustments as you need. Maybe you lift your chest up again and gently tuck the shoulders under to relax the back down so the heart is nice and open. There's spaciousness across the chest. Palms are up, signaling that we are receptive. Close down your eyes. Release any control or effort of your breath. Allow your whole body to rest on the ground. Legs are heavy. Hips are open. Stomach is relaxed. Chest and shoulders are relaxed. Arms and fingers. Jaw is soft. Relax the energy behind your eyes. There's nothing left for you to do here. This time is here for you to nourish yourself in very deep levels. Allow yourself to rest and receive in pure, spacious awareness. Notice what it feels like to be at home in the center of your multi-dimensional being. And just know that you always, 
always have access to this. This place of deep ease and calm is always, always available to you. You can slowly begin your return by deepening your breath. Start to bring some gentle movement back into your body. Maybe you start to move your fingers and your toes, your wrists, your ankles. Maybe you start to roll your head from side to side. Reach your arms up overhead for a nice big stretch, stirring your body back into wakefulness. Feeling refreshed and nourished. Then bring your knees in toward you. Give yourself a hug. And then roll over onto one side, pausing on your side. And just taking in a few deep breaths into your upper back and noticing how it feels to lay on your side here in this nourishing shape. And then we'll start to make our way into a comfortable seated position to close our practice. And you're welcome to sit up on something if you'd like. We won't be here for too long. So sitting up nice and tall. Hands could just be on your thighs, on your lap for now. Shoulders back, chin slightly in. Relax your thighs. And just find your effortless breath. And if you've set an intention in the beginning of practice, just come back to that intention. And then place one hand on your heart and the other hand on top of that hand. Eyes closed, go inward. And just allow yourself to feel whatever you feel here. knowing that we all have different paths and different walks of life and different upbringings, different stories, different experiences. I'm just remembering that throughout all of these differences that we are all interconnected. And what allows us to remember this interconnectedness and connection is love. Love is that thread that brings us together. Self-love compassion for each other, seeing through the eyes of love brings us this sense of belonging with each other, with one another. So taking this moment to just acknowledge and honor yourself for this act of self-love through practice, filling up your own cup, allowing that to spill over and to spread into your day and 
touching all those you interact with, come in contact with, pass by. Remembering this thread of love and that we're all interconnected. Thank you for your trust. Thank you for practicing. Thank you for sharing your practice. From my heart to yours. Namaste.